Alright guys, so we, we finally got set up in the stand. It's 3.45. Uh, haven't been here for a month. Nobody's come down and checked on my spot when we first got here. Um, my feeder uh, mechanism was opened up. My battery's on the ground. My computer programmer's on the ground, soaking wet. I uh, put it all back together. I, I don't know how long it's not been throwing. Uh, we just spun a bunch of corn out on the ground. We're gonna go ahead and sit here tonight and uh, hopefully a lot of those deer that we saw in that field over here to our east will work their way this way and just stumble across the corn. So hopefully it'll be a good night. So stick with us. Well, unfortunately, Gavin missed that turkey. I had told him to shoot a 30-yard pin, which he did, and that turkey was actually at 27 yards, so he shot right over her. Uh, that's that's my fault. I should have had him aim a little bit lower, but that's the way it goes. But I had taken my bow just in case Gavin did get a shot off, and I'd have an opportunity if it was still early. And We had a, a big boar come in, and as, as I was positioning myself to try to get a shot on him, as he was coming in, he stepped on a stick. And that stick came up, and you could hear it snap, slapped him in the bottom of the belly, and man, he, he took off running. We never even had an opportunity to pull a shot off on him. But we talked, and we decided we were just gonna go ahead and sit it out the rest of the evening and see what happened. And lo and behold, we had a uh, coal buck come in. All right, guys, well, it got a little bit late on us. Uh, we had a coal buck come in. I went ahead and decided I'd put an arrow through it. Uh, we're wanting some venison in the freezer, so anyways, uh, we reviewed the footage. It looked like it was a little hind back, but we definitely hit an artery. There was blood splurting out of it. So uh, we gave it probably about 20 minutes right now. We're gonna walk down and look at the arrow uh, if we can find the arrow it looked like he may have ran off with it but we're gonna look at the point of impact and see what kind of blood we've got so here we go and it's kind of hard to tell in the video but it, it got pretty dark on us that evening and we didn't have the proper flashlights with us at the time so we decided that we'd back out now the next morning Gavin decided he wanted to hunt with the thunder stick he was ready to go shoot a doe Confident in shooting it in the neck. I thought it 
All right, we're walking down to the feeder after Gavin shot that doe. So let's go see what we can find. Where's she standing? Right here. Her foot. Blood. You gotta look all around. Every direction. Look for a white belly. Hey. Did you find her? Check her, make sure she did. Yeah. Alright, show us what you got, buddy. Big doe. Big doe down, say it. Big doe down. <laughs> Look at this shot. Good shot. Double long right there. Did you find her already? I don't know. Like when you're over there. What do you think? Yes. Oh. Think a big doe. All right. Well, what do we gotta do now? Go with the ranger and load her up. Well, we gotta drag her out to the ranger. Oh. Load her up and get her field dressed. Oh. Nope, she's too heavy. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna help you out. We're gonna kill, kill the camera. She's heavy. Huh? She's heavy. She's a big, big doe, huh? <laughs> Work it, boy. <laughs> what are you stopping for? She's heavy. Huh? Heavy. You got this. There's the road right there. Ten yards. Come on, man. Five more yards. What we say? Man up. <laughs> There's the road. <laughs> Why are you breathing hard? She's heavy. She's heavy? Is she a big doe? Alright. Hey guys, we got here about 6.30 this morning. 7.30, the feeder went off. She came in, I put my crosshair, crosshairs on her. Shot her right behind the shoulder. We found her with a little bit of blood. We're going to take her back to camp. Gut her, take her home and process her. Be elite. Well, after we recovered Gavron's doe, got it loaded up in the ranger, we decided we were going to go back down to the river and 
and see if we can't find my buck now that we've got good daylight. Here's your arrow. All right. What does it look like? Bloody. Let's look at it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, good blood. Look at that. That's what we want. All right, let's keep following and we'll find him. Find him? Yeah, he's right here. Is he? Alright, let's go get him. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. Let's see this big boy. Yeah, that should have been the exit. Oh, he's yeah. dead. He's been dead for a long time. Yeah, look at that freak. Well, we just got done dragging this buck out. Uh, when we started dragging him, we noticed that it looked like some coyotes or something got a hold of his hind quarter. It was underneath him, so we didn't notice it at first, but I'll, uh, I'll give you a look at him right quick. You can definitely tell it's fresh. There's no uh, fungus or infection or anything in it that meets real fresh. It's real bright red still. It's not dark red. So I'm not sure what would have done that. I don't know if it was a coyote or bobcat or something, but it definitely happened last night. So there's your little view of it. All right, guys, now uh, it's Saturday morning. Gavin just shot a doe. Uh, we already recovered it. Uh, we let this guy sit. I shot him Friday evening, and we let him sit. We had a decent blood trail, but we had these little cheap LED flashlights, and we just couldn't follow the blood very well, so we decided to back out, come in during daylight, and track him. <clears throat> uh, we got here. Gavin did the entire track job. Proud of him for that. Uh, he followed him about, what, 80 yards, maybe 80, 90 yards, and he's dead right here. Uh, we shot him, I shot him last night as a cull. Unfortunately, Gavron missed a, a turkey with his crossbow, so we didn't get it reloaded. And so I, it was my turn to shoot. He came in. Uh, he was definitely, looked like a cull to us, five on his right side. And over here, he just did a little fork. Uh, just don't want those out here so i decided to go ahead and you know put him down as a call uh, unfortunately now that i'm looking at him he did break his main beam right here uh, it's real rounded that's why we thought he was a call but uh it's been broke for a long time but anyways uh, that's the way it goes i'm happy we've got two deer that we've got to load up take and uh field dress them and then we've got a couple weeks to take them back and get them processed in the garage. So, Gavin and I, we've definitely got our work cut out for us, huh? Mm -hmm. Anyways, be elite.